Yo, what is good? <laughs> Yo, what is good, guys? Back here, another YouTube video. And in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky, weird world people decided to call pro wrestling. As you can tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my thoughts and opinions on the uh, bad boy of pro wrestling, uh, Joey, Gen Joey Janela. And before I share my thoughts and opinions on uh, Janela, I would love to know what your thoughts are on him down in the comments below while you are down there. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did uh, and whatnot. But when it comes to Joey Janela, I'll be completely honest, he is not my cup of tea kind of deal. Like, him in the ring, him on the mic, not my... What he puts out into wrestling, or at least what I've seen him put out, over the last couple of years, not my cup of tea, not what I want to get out of professional wrestling kind of deal and whatnot. But either way, for myself personally, nothing against him kind of deal. I've never met him, never seen him wrestle in person, and never had any social media interactions with him. So it's not like a, I don't like him in the ring because he said this that I did not agree with on social media or I met him. And it was a negative experience by all accounts, or at least the accounts that I've seen that have met him. He is a nice enough guy to meet kind of deal. Not necessarily in everybody's top five, but not in anybody's bottom five wrestlers kind of deal. And again, from the matches I've seen of his, it's more of the hardcore deathmatch-esque kind of deal uh and whatnot that's what i associate with him and whatnot and he could have not done a death match or a super duper hardcore match in years but whenever i think of joey janela that's what i think of he did a show for gcw in, i can't remember the exact date or what it's called but it was a show in december out in la kind of deal he walked out to the ring with a giant snake i don't know what kind of snake but like I think a 25 foot snake kind of deal and it's like that kind of stuff uh, and whatnot I I don't want in wrestling myself personally and whatnot again if that kind of stuff is like you like that kind of stuff good that's your uh, thing and whatnot but either way that kind of stuff is not what I want out of wrestling and it's one of those things like I won't go to the GCW shows hypothetically in Toronto or Montreal in a couple of months just to see Joey Janela but if I was to go to a, let's say Smash Wrestling uh, one of their shows in Toronto or London and if Joey Janela was there it would be cool if he was not there it would be cool kind of deal like I'm not going to go out of my way to seek a Janela match or promo kind of deal but I won't at like if I'm seeing him wrestle whether it's on line kind of deal like through fight through IWTV whatever I won't switch the channel so to speak or I won't have my bathroom break because of Joey Janela if that makes sense but either way those are kind of my thoughts and opinions on him would love to know what yours are down in the comments below while you are down there feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notification of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did more importantly hope you guys are doing okay uh, mentally emotionally and physically the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up i feel like i'm just lying to myself Lying to myself, yeah Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die I feel like I'm just lying to myself But it's 